uh, hear about this project and what was it about it that made you want to be a part of it? Yeah, I uh, I had just finished a movie in LA um, and I'd kind of missed the busy sort of season for, for acting because I was filming this movie. Um, so I stuck around for a little while just to kind of see what was coming up and then Shadowhunters sort of hit my desk. And I don't, I, I, I don't know what it was because I hadn't read the books. I was familiar-ish with the movie. I kind of knew vaguely what it was. Um, but I read the pilot and it was, I, I just kind of fell in love with it. And I knew this was something that I wanted to be involved in. So we kind of took those steps and did what we did. And then I'm in the TV show now. I play Jace. That is me. Jason Books always kind of had a sense of feeling like he didn't quite belong. Yeah. Looking for a sense of family. Does, can you say if that continues into this series? Um, yes and no. We, it, everyone's past is explored. So uh, we, you're going to find out where all of our characters came from and what made them who they are and why they behave the way they do. Um, so in so much as like our past are explored, then yeah, there's that. How physically challenging has this been? Because I, from what I hear, there's a lot of... Uh, yeah, it was, there's, a, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, it's, it, it, it has been phys physically challenging, but there's, we, we're all doing the same thing. So myself and Alberto and Emerard and Alec and, uh, and Matthew and Kat, we're all in the same boat. We're all physically training with each other. We're all martial arts training and sword training and Alex got his bow, so he's archery training and we're all doing the same things together. Um, so it's been physically challenging, but it's so great to have just this wonderful cast to be kind of bouncing on day to day and we're, we're challenging each other and pushing each other to work harder. With a show where you're using um, some more practical effects rather mm -hmm. than green screen and stuff like that, has there ever been either a set piece or a character, like one of the, the down the world characters yeah. that kind of was a little off-putting or frightening when you first I mean, they're all, yeah, they're all terrifying. They're all absolutely, all of the downworlders are absolutely terrifying. They're, I mean, the sets, but they're in, in the best possible way. They're, it's, they're, they've kind of captured the exact um, kind of essence of these creatures, which is really amazing. And all the way down to kind of their movement, they move like these creatures and the, the stunt guys and the actors who've been brought in to play these, these demons or, or whatever they are at the time, are just amazing. They they move and they work and they growl and they're terrifying. They're so they're so um, spectacular to work with because you're you're working with a demon. It's mm -hmm. it's the most amazing thing. So they're not off putting so much as, cause, as well, especially when I'm on set because I'm I, I am kind of Jace when I'm on set. Um, it's it's just amazing to work with someone who's so committed to to what they're doing as well. What are you able to tease about how we're introduced to Jace in the series? Um, we, we're introduced to Jace uh, mid-mission. So um, we catch him uh, on, hot on the, on the tail of something or someone, and um, we, he bumps into Clary. So the, his, his introduction is, is the kind of the sparks flying. Um, I, I haven't worked directly with Valentine just yet, okay. um, who's Alan, who's, I've seen sort of pieces of, because we're, we're just never in the same place at the same time, I've seen pieces of his performance and it's just amazing, it's just spectacular. So I'm very, very excited to work with him and I know it's going to happen, um, I know it's going to happen very soon actually, so I'm, I'm very excited for those days to come around. What well, can you talk about the, the relationship between Jason and Clary mm -hmm. initially? Um, I, I mean, initially, it's it's kind of there is this electricity in place, but it's also um, it's also kind of intrigue. It's it, Clary to to the shadow hunters, for all intents and purposes, is a mundane. She's a human being, so there's no reason why she would be able to see us and interact with us. Why are the demons? You know, why 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 is she in this world? What's go what's going on? Why is why is she a part of this? Because it's our job to keep mundanes out out of this world. So, um, sort of from the off, there, there's definitely attraction, but there's also intrigue um, and curiosity. Has there been anything about the lingo or the mythology that's kind of been a bit of a, you know, a little bit of a challenge? It's, I mean, it's all been challenging because it's, it's this world that Jace has been a part of for sort of 20-odd years. Mm -hmm. um, but 
that I haven't, I didn't know this world. So we had to do a lot of research and then we're, we're kind of talking about things as they happen. And um, I, I know enough about this world that I feel I could explain it to almost anyone, but the you, you do, I, I had to sit down and I had to really prep for this role because I had to know what this world was. So I had to find out what my runes were and what they all meant and what they all did to me, how they look when I put them on, how, uh, what, what do they feel like when I put them on. Um, Stelles, Seraph Blades, Shadow Hunters, Downworlders, like all of this had to, I, I had to know everything ab about this and, and I'd like to think now I do. I hope I do. With Isabel and Alec, um, mm -hmm. how does Jace kind of fit into that? Because in the books he is kind of a member of the family, but he's also kind of... He's, not. he's from their point of view, he's always been a part of the family. Um, and from Jace's, he hasn't so much. So he, he's always been completely welcomed and to, to Alec and Izzy. Um, I, I mean, Alec and I are a power of a tie, which is a bond that, that is unknown in sort of the human world. It's so powerful. Um, and Illic, uh, Illic, Izzy is my sister. Mm -hmm. um, and then Robert and Maris are, are my parents. Um, and they've supported me and they've loved me and they, they are Jace's parents in, in their entirety. But there is, there's always something about kind of an adopted parenthood that is a little, I, I guess for the child, I, I've obviously never been through this, but I guess for the child is always a little un, uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, he's, for, for all intents and purposes, he's a member of that family. And what can you tell us about the Simon? Because there's always, like from the beginning of the books, there's kind of this whole Simon, Jace, yeah. tension, mistrust. There's, there's, always, there's always a tension with, with Jace and Simon. Um, which is so much fun to play because it is two kind of characters, two very strong-willed characters who they know who they are and they're not going to change who they are for anyone and they don't want to change for anyone. Um, so meeting si Jace, meeting Simon, and Simon meeting Jace is kind of a rock meets a hard place, which it's, it's a lot of fun because me and Alberto get on very well, so we, we play with each other a lot.